There's a lot of Canadian talent in the NBA right now that have secured their roster spots on various teams and in various positions. So what kind of implication does this give as far as what the Canadian national basketball team could look like? Let's take a look at a potential starting five. At point guard, you have Jamal Murray, arguably the hottest Canadian player in the world right now. Not shy of confidence, he can handle the ball, shoot from distance, he's explosive, and did I mention that he's confident? But he's a scoring point guard. Murray three. At the shooting guard position, you've got the young phenom, RJ Barrett, a natural leader, agile, crafty, and very aggressive. Not shy about getting shots up, sees the floor, great basketball IQ. Barrett and Williamson in transition. Barrett! At small forward, the guy with all the genetic gifts, Andrew Wiggins. He can jump out of the gym, he's fast, and when he wants to, he could become an unstoppable scorer from range and slashing to the basket. Never know what Wiggins are gonna get, but the potential of this guy? Wiggins attacking Richard Daniels! Oh! Andrew Wiggins flying oh! through the air again! At the power forward position, you've got Kelly Olenek. Steady, he can grab rebounds, has decent mobility, and can step out for three when it's necessary. Defenders gotta respect it enough to step out on him, giving more room for Wiggins, Murray, and Barrett to create in the lane. Kelly Olenek, again. Kelly. And at center, you've got championship pedigree with Tristan Thompson, an NBA champion in 2016 with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Thompson brings a championship mindset, toughness, and experience from his championship run alongside one of the best players in history, LeBron James, all over the boards on offense and defense. And he fills the role of enforcer, raising the morale of the entire Canadian team. Now Green and Tristan Thompson going at it. When you add in a sixth man like Corey Joseph and also Dwight Powell and Nick Stauskas coming off the bench, the Canadian team isn't a team that can be overlooked. 